TV show, just about anything. Book. Movie. Alright. Let's start with High School Story. I'm almost done with book one. It's been interesting. I know if you go and you check the list, some of them were bad edits. I did not know that my video quality was being compromised by something due to the app that I was I am using to stream on my phone, so I do apologize. But anyways, I'm going on an investigation to catch the culprit who vandalized the Ollie the Tiger. Who do you suspect? Last time... Hearst High School? But they're saying something about it could be someone from the actual school that we're in. So I don't know. Let's dive in. To some story. Chapter 10, To Catch a Culprit. following morning <laughs> you're in the courtyard where a large group of students gather around the vandalized Ollie the Tiger statue you hear people whispering about yesterday's run in with Hearst Kid was telling me someone from our school did it I heard that too I can't believe this well whoever spray painted him is gonna pay before you can respond, Michael storms off. You approach Maria and Lewis standing nearby to a trash can. Probably in a berry student. I don't get it. I bet whoever did it must feel terrible. I'd hate to he I'd hate to have to keep a secret like that. I hope they come forward soon. Me too. It'd be for the... Why are you all standing around here? Don't you all have class to attend? You and the students around you scramble to the class just as this school bell rings. Later that day before second period. Jessica, is it true? You shut your locker and see Mariah bolting down the hall, her eyes fixed on you. Is what true? I heard that Hearst didn't vandalize Ollie the Tiger, someone from Barry High did. If you believe the Hearst students, yeah. I'm going to get to the bottom of this, and you're coming with me. Investigating with you? But why me? I need your help. You were there when the Hearst students showed up. And honestly, you're the only person I can trust. Whoever did this is probably sitting around, right under our noses. Well, when you put it that way... Okay, I'm in. Now, before we get started, I was thinking, do you want anyone else to help us? It might go smoother to have a third person. Who did you have in mind? Well, Emma and Aiden both strike me as especially perspective. Perceptive? It's perceptive. Caleb would also be a good pick because he knows everyone. And as much as I hate to trust him with anything, Michael's clearly dedicated to the cause. I think uh, any of them could help us catch our culprit. Add a third teammate to your investigation to prove your relationship. Improve your relationship with them and gain their insight on the case. Can't do best friend Emma. Nor Aiden. Nor Caleb. Nor Michael. Yeah, it's just between you and me, Mariah. 
We don't need anyone else. The two of us can do it. Oh, uh, well, if you're sure. Come on, let's check out the scene of the crime. There's bound to be some clues around there. Okay. You and Mariah make our way to the courtyard. The spray-painted Ollie the Tiger dominates your view. Let's split up. We'll cover more ground that way. Hmm. If I were a clue, I'd hide... Uh... Hmm. Most... Well... I'd say in the high school, most of the time they put it underneath the table. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go under the tables. You look around one of the red tables, searching for clues. Maybe this is something. A noteworthy clue. Notepad. This must be a clue. It's missing a page. Uh, Jessica, we're at a school. Everyone has a notepad. Oh yeah, good point. Womp, womp, womp. You glance back at the ground and notice a crumbled up piece of paper. Maybe this is the missing page? It's ripped in half. What does ours pay? Our, say. Ours say. Ours pay? Our pay? <laughs> mm. Don't forget, Dill. Paint or else get it. gets it. Or else who gets it? And who's M? Um, I don't see the other half. Let's keep searching. Uh, if I were a clue, I'd hide. Save the trash can for later. Let's go to the tree. You kneel beside one of the green lofty trees and notice a small piece of fabric sticking out of the dirt. You use your fingertips to dig it up. What's this? A gas mask? Why would a gas mask just be lying leisurely around? You smile and pick the gas mask. Uh, mummy? Are you my mummy? What are you doing, Jessica? Take that off. I don't think it's a clue, but it's a cool find. Sure. Let's see what else is around. Let's go to the trash can. Reminiscing, you peer into the overflowing trash can. Ugh. The stinks. You dig through the garbage, uncovering half-eaten food, plastic bottles, and... Spray paint can. That's the same color paint. But whose is it? I'm pretty sure Morgan used this to decorate the homecoming banners. She will not ruin my dance. Let's find her. During lunch, you head to the cafeteria to find Morgan in the middle of eating a sandwich. Her hands are covered in a red paint. Stop right there, Morgan. Please tell me it's... I really want to believe you didn't spray paint Ollie the Tiger, but I swear it's not me. We just have the same kind of paint. A likely story. Where's your proof? I know my rights. Innocent until proven guilty. Besides, Ollie has amateur writing written all over her. <laughs> yeah. A real graffiti artist would never write something as unoriginal as Barry Thug. You must admit, it looks suspicious. I don't have to answer to you. Back off. Look. We just want to get to know the We just want to get to the bottom of this. Do you have an alibi for last night? Yeah. And this, that is, this. She throws the plastic bag into your hands. You pull out a familiar can of spray paint. This is the same color we found in the courtyard. She could just have two cans of it. Still don't believe me. Fine. I'll show you my work. It's just down the street. 
Now, but we can't leave campus during school hours. It's now or never. Take your pick. Okay, but only because it's the greater good. For the greater good. A few minutes later. Okay. You take in the large canopy trees as you walk down the brick pathway. Morgan points to the graffiti initials painted on the sidewalk. This is what I've been working on. Those are your initials? See, like I said, I happened to use the same paint as the culprit. That doesn't make me guilty. Besides, I don't have, I don't give a crap about school rivalry, and whoever did this obviously ties to Hearst. Has ties to Hearst. Sorry for jumping to conclusions. So if you didn't spray paint Ollie, who did? Maya, obviously. It doesn't seem like something she'd do. Come on. Who else has ties to Hearst like her? She used to go there. Her brother's captain of their football team. And her dad's principal. Wait, what? Her family's all Hearst, but she goes to Barry? Oh, yeah. It was this huge thing when she transferred. Her family was a bit controlling and transferred... Transferring was her chance to take matters in her own hands. You could say her dad and her brother, Max, weren't too happy about it. But she still could have reverted to the dark side. Maya has too many connections to ignore. We should at least check her out. Back at school during free period. You enter Maya's gym class. She sits on the bench, her crutches lying beside her. She yells at her classmates playing, playing basketball. Hmm. What kind of shot was that? I swear I could make that if you... If I could actually walk. She casts her gaze downward at her cast before looking back at the match. Maya sighs heavily as you approach. What do you want? We need to get to the bottom of this. Why'd you mess with Ollie the Tiger? Me? You seriously think I did it? I don't think. I know. Judging by the evidence? It all points to you. You're the one with the most ties to Hearst. Watch yourself, Jessica. I've been here much longer than you. I love the school. I left my old life at Hearst behind when I transferred despite my family's objections. No one has sacrificed more to be here than me. Not to mention I'm injured. Remembered? Re ugh, remembered? Remembered? That's a word. Um, in the sentence. Context. Wow. Wink. There's no way on earth I'd be able to humble around and spray. Yeah, that'd be hard. Back to square one. We're no closer to finding out who did this than we were when we started. Have you already asked, Wes? If anyone at the school has information, it'd be him. Sounds like a good idea. I te I'll text him. Wes, let's meet up. We got to talk about the statue. Almost immediately, your phone buzzes with a reply from Russ. Dinner. Ten minutes. After the final bell, grab a booth. We have a lead. Twenty minutes after school ends at the diner. You sit at one of the booths, tapping your foot restlessly. Okay, Wes, it's been longer than ten minutes. Where are you? I knew this wouldn't happen. I knew this would happen. We're wasting our time here. Meanwhile, the actual vandal is getting away. I'll bet that Wes... He probably got caught up with Autumn or something. Whatever it is, I'm sure he'll be here soon. 
Doubt it. This could be some sort of scheme of his. Just you wait. Any moment he's going to walk through those doors and prove you wrong. West slides into the booth beside Mariah. About time you showed up. Improvising, putting a word right in the middle. Ever heard of punctuality? <laughs> I'm never late. Everyone else is just early. So do you know who spray painted Ollie the Tiger? Yup. So who did it? I could say, but it'll cost you. You can't just do this one thing out of kindness of your heart. If I cut you this if I cut you slack, then the next guy is gonna ask want a discount. And then the guy after that is just bad for business. All things come with a price. What can you offer? You start digging through your pockets, taking out whatever you manage to find. Uh, let's see here. How about... Yeah. And I can get tribute a ticket to homecoming in ten cent. That's all you guys can offer? I guess you don't want to know this that bad. Come on, Wes. You're our only hope. All right, fine. We've got a deal, but only because I kind of want that ticket to homecoming for autumn. Wes scoops up the loose items and the table. For what you paid, all I can tell you is, look at Lewis. Lewis? Uh-huh. It all leads back to him. See you around. Before you can ask Wesk anything else, he stands up and leaves the diner. Do you really think that Lewis could have done this? There's only one way to find out. Back at campus in the computer lab. Lewis is in the middle of a Legends of Clan craft match. He barks orders out to his teammates through his mic. Enemies inbound on the West Tower. Someone cover me. I'm going in. Hey, Lewis, we need to talk. No can do. They're flanking us. Minions on your six. That's it. Mariah slams her hand on either side of his keyboard, blocking Lewis's view of the monitor. Mariah, move. We're about to win. I don't care. It's been a long day, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this now. That means talking to you. Be a jerk. You follow the computer cords to pull the outlet and rip it out of the socket. No! How could you? We were so close to victory. Like Mariah said, we've got to talk to you. And you couldn't wait a couple minutes? We were about to destroy the Rampage Warriors' final tower. I've been working so hard the past hour to chip away at their team. Then you come in and destroy all that hard work? Lewis closes his eyes and takes a few deep breaths. Sorry about that. The Rampage Warriors have beat my team several times. I thought this was my was finally my chance to revenge. What do you need to talk to me about? Did you spray paint Ollie the Tiger? You think I did that? Was said to look for you. It couldn't have meant have been me. I was playing Legends of Clancraft with N Nissa, Nishan, and Sekker all night. We're gearing up for Clan Rumble in a few months, so it's been nonstop practice. A likely story. Looks. Look at the logs if you don't believe me. 
I'm telling the truth. What did Wes mean by look at Lewis then? Hmm. Maybe it's someone who's connected to him. I know. It's gotta be. I don't know. Let's go with that. That's got to be what Wes meant. She's your best friend after all, and she name, and her name, begins with M. Also, yours does too, Mariah. But I didn't pick that. It all makes sense. Now that you mention it, she was supposed to be part of last night's raid, but she never got online. She wasn't answering my texts or anything. Looks like we found our culprit. I should have known better. Let's go. Last I saw, Mayor was in the band room. Womp womp womp. You find her practicing a familiar tune on the trombone. She sees you enter and her face drops. She stops playing and stares dejectedly at the ground. Hey, Mayor. Can we talk? I think you have an idea of why we're here. You know it was me. Yeah, we do. All the clues led his led us here. Let me explain. Mara hands you a wadded up piece of paper. The page is missing his other half. You take out the note from earlier and line it up. It's a match. Don't forget our deal. Pain Ollie. Or else Lewis gets it. Who wrote this? Brian is her friends. They cornered me at school earlier this week and told me they'd hurt Lewis if I didn't listen. Then that and the spray paint can showed up in my bag yesterday, and so I. I'm so, so sorry. You have to believe me. I didn't want to do it. But I couldn't let Brian do anything to Lewis. One way or another, all roads lead to Hearst. No wonder they were so smug when they came by. I know what I did was wrong, but if Lewis got hurt, I couldn't handle knowing I was the reason behind his pain. He's my... He's my best friend. But now the entire school's mad over the statue... I don't think I could take it if anyone ever knew it was me. Maybe you should have thought about that before you listened to Brian. What would you have done in my shoes? It was a lose-lose situation. I'm begging you. Don't tell anyone else I did it. I can't he bear to see the look on Lewis's face if he finds out it was me. I'm sorry. But we have to report this to the pr to Principal Hughes. Everyone has to face the consequences of their actions. What happens if Brian threatens Lewis again? You'll just give in and listen? No, I won't. You have to believe me. Mara grabs her arm, looking at you pleadingly. Please, Jessica, I'm begging you. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. I will keep it. We can. I believe her. This was just one time thing. Thank you so, so much. Jessica, I promise I won't let you down. You'll keep your secret. You'll keep her secret too, right, Mara? I don't agree, but I'm willing to let it slide if you agree to clean up the statue and join the homecoming committee. Deal. 
You're the best, Mariah. You really are. Oh, I'm not sure about that, but thank you. I guess we'll see. We'll be seeing a lot more of each other. I'm not sure if I should be excited or quaking with fear. Both. Definitely both. You follow Mariah to her locker. She receives her book back and a few textbooks. I feel so much better now that we've solved the case. Same. But I never thought it'd be Mira. Mira. It always the one you least expect. Your phone buzzes at the exact same moment as Mariah's. Meet me in the science lab now. What could he want? You and Mariah quickly make your way to the science lab and find Michael, Emma, Aiden, Caleb, Jillian, and Maya all waiting for you. About time you showed up, slow pokes. So now, can you share your master plan with everyone? Yes, I was finally making some progress on my composition when I got your text. What do you need us here for? I've been doing a lot of thinking and I got all it all planned out. It's time to get some revenge on Hearst tonight. Bing bing. Up to six. Wonk wonk. <laughs>